Boots and Borders here. Go for a car ride? Just a stop here in Orangeville uh, at a Canadian Tire to pick up some things uh, that we need to get, propane being the biggest thing. Floyd says, why have we traveled two and a half hours to be parked in a parking lot? So we're in another parking lot. This is the third parking lot. Uh, there's a propane shortage. So we're hoping to find some here at the Walmart. Where are we? Walmart. Why are we here? We're out of propane. On the last stop, we were able to find propane, which is great. We're now here at the Northumberland County Forest to do a little bit of hiking. Right away, you notice how much the gypsy moth caterpillars have been able to chew their way through the forest canopy. Hey, move over. Come here. Come. Okay, he's not used to horses. He hasn't really seen them before. First time seeing a horse that close. I was too handsome. <laughs> right, because of the dog training, I know not to like pull back on him because I feel like that would have made things worse. It's kind of weird because you want I wanted to like pull him back, but then I'm like, nope. <laughs> hey, how are ya? Good, good. Ah, is it okay if I film or are you guys? I guess. So. Okay, awesome thing. The internet are gonna be like, you let me drink, do you drink that? I do. <laughs> I think you just ate dirt. While Floyd obviously has no problem drinking from puddles, I do bring fresh water for him to drink on our hikes. You never know if there's going to be access to a water along the trail. There's a lot of up. I don't know how you're so... Oh, stop. <laughs> it does not look like an up in the video. <laughs> so, with the carabiner here on my pack, um, I found that it's actually really helping because my hands can be free, which is helping me maintain my balance while on the trail. And when he's pulling, it's pulling from above my shoulders here, which is helping me also with the, the balance as well. Um, I've tried it before where I've had him hooked on my either my belt strap or if I'm wearing belt loop and buckles. But I think with that, yeah, again, it's throwing me off balance. So this is helping in terms of the balance. And then it's also helping with just his setup that he has with his uh, prong collar. And I haven't talked about the prong collar before, but he wears it specifically because he actually, uh, as a rescue, uh, came to me with um, a, a, um, a problem with his throat and with his esophagus um, that it collapses on him because the muscles are all weakened because he was using a flat collar and pulling too much on that when he was a puppy. So the prong collar stops him from pulling and adding extra damage to uh, that weakened muscle structure in his throat. So by having it up higher, it keeps it at the proper angle to close down the, the loops and I'll take that off and I'll show another video of how that works um, to keep him from pulling. Obviously he's not pulling right now, he's pretty tired, but um, he does pull, especially when there's like a fun scent in the, in the trees or, or whatnot. I realized here that the leaves were back on the trees and that there were several dead gypsy moth caterpillars on the ground. This could indicate the NVP virus attacking the gypsy moth caterpillar population in the area.
finish the woodland uh, trailhead, which is out in the uh, Northumberland County Forest. Uh, so we did the uh, we did the Black Oak Trail, and then we also added on Lookout Mountain. So it came to about uh, 10 kilometers, and we did that in about three and a half hours. Uh, it was pretty good. The trail itself. Um, it's shared with like horseback riders and there's a few sections with like ATVs that were really well monitored um, And then there's uh, some bikers as well the 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 forest path this I would say was a, a fairly easy uh, Path to go up you did go up uh, a few like Points where like you're going up fairly steep, but other than that. Yeah Here I'm unpacking my woods four person tent. I like this tent as a car camping option You've seen in an earlier video me solar proof and waterproof that fly the tent which really came in handy here because it rained during the night. This tent is large enough for me and Floyd. I can set up a single air mattress and my sleeping bag and he can walk around the outskirts of the tent uh, which he likes to do as a border collie. It helps settle him before he falls asleep at night. I also like the double vestibule on here. I can throw my bag out in the vestibule and it can stay dry but I also find that like if it is raining, I can open that vestibule without getting water inside my tent when it's raining uh, and then still take it on and off my shoes. Hey, sir, stand up. Come here. After we had the site set up, we went and checked out the beach at Perskeel Provincial Park. This beach outlooks Lake Ontario. I really had fun time watching the rocks, listening to the waves. It was quite a view. We're headed back to the site now to go have some dinner and then just relax before heading off to bed. It's been a long day and we have another long day tomorrow so I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you will watch part two which will be coming out shortly.